Hello and welcome. This time we are going to talk about measurement of electrical variables, of electrical things. Okay? So, why are we talking about this measurement? Of electrical variables of electrical variables properties and so on why are we talking about this because most of the sensors we are going to get to know are simply uh, changing some electrical property okay and to measure this property we have to measure the electrical variables showing this property okay basically we're measuring only two things huh? most mostly only two things we are measuring yeah one thing we measure is the voltage how do we measure voltage let's say here is our device i will now simply say this behaves like a resistor this is our device and we want to measure here is the voltage here's the current running through the through the device and of course here ohms law i think you know this describes the things here. If I want to measure the voltage now, I take my measurement device, my voltage measurement device, and put it in parallel. Yeah? Because here I got my measured voltage. Yeah? Here I got my measured voltage. Okay. And Please remember from Electrotechnik, Kirchhoff's laws, yeah? mesh law, loop law, rule, second rule. If this is the if this is the mesh, the loop, yeah? doesn't really matter in which direction. It means UM minus UR is zero. This means the measured voltage is the voltage is equal to the voltage here. Yeah? That's the case in parallel. Yeah? Every parallel things do have the same voltage. One issue we've got here, we have here the measured current. Yeah? And here we have the total current. Okay? So this means Here, over here, there's something like the uh, uh, voltage source. Yeah? Now, I'm not only draining the original current, I'm also draining the measurement current. And therefore, I'm changing my system. Yeah? To change the system as, as low as possible, the change must be as low as possible. I must look, have a look if this EM, the measurement current, is very, very small. Yeah? And of course, here the same thing applies. The same, the same rule. This RI is the internal resistance of our of our voltage measurement device. Yeah? And these two things are the same. Yeah? And this here must be this here must be very small compared to this here. Yeah? So this here must be big, big, big. Ri must be big. Yeah? Ideal, ideal would be infinity. Yeah? So a voltage measurement device needs to be high with high resist high internal resistance yeah? 
then it's working proper. Then I make less errors. Voltage measurement. Always parallel. Always parallel. And with high internal resistance. This is one thing we measure. Second thing we measure is of course the current. See? Here's again our thing we want to measure the current. Here is again the two values, but now I'm interested in this value here. And what am I doing? To be sure the same current is running through my measurement device, my ampere meter, it's a voltmeter, ampere meter. I have to put it in serial yeah? because also remember Kirchhoff's first rule, first law, the point rule. This is considered as point, yeah? and the current which is going out is the current which is going in. So the same current in the serial, in the serial uh, connection, the same current has to pass everything. Here we again have this U, and here it's the current. Yeah? And now the same thing applies as well. Yeah? Here we have a measurement voltage. Yeah? And the measurement voltage is again Ri, the internal resistance of this ampere meter multiplied by ER and UR is the same like R multiplied by ER. That's just stays the same. Yeah? If this is not there, UR and U are the same. Now am I, I am adding a new thing and suddenly there is a voltage drop, this UM. This means this means this voltage on the resistor on my load, yeah, I want to measure, this voltage on the resistor is now a little bit smaller. Yeah, because this stays the same, let's say this stays the same. So I need, this means if here the, the voltage is a little bit smaller, also the current is a little bit smaller. This means again I'm influencing with my measurement device, I'm influencing this thing. Yeah? And I measure wrong. To have this very low, this, this failure, yeah? I want this UAM needs to go to zero. Yeah? This would be nice if it would be zero. So Ri, the internal resistance of this ampere meter, must be very, very, very low. Ideal, zero ohms. Yeah? Here, voltage measurement, infinity ohms, internal resistance, current measurement, zero ohms. Okay, zero ohms. If I measure voltage and current at the same time, I measure, I can measure the resistance if there's a current running through and I measure the voltage, I know the resistor according to the law. Yeah? According to the law, I know the resistor. Of course, I can also measure the power. Yeah? If I measure voltage and current, the power, power is U multiplied by E, I can measure the power as combinement. Yeah? Or I can measure the resistance u3. Yeah? So I can measure almost all electrical variables. Yeah? I can measure voltage, I can measure current, and with voltage and current I implicitly can measure power and resistance. That's it. Yeah? 
That's the measurement of electrical variables. How do I measure them? How do I achieve this? We will start with a little history. In our next video, we will talk about measurement devices. Yeah? Our first measurement device we are going to talk about is the moving coil measurement device. Moving coil will then be in the next video. For this video, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.